Peace Kings and sisters from another mister. I was talking with a couple of my friends yesterday evening and we were really getting into the meat and potatoes of what men are looking for in a woman. And there was a few things, but the first I wanted to get into was affirmation. Affirmation is important to men, okay? And when I speak about affirmation, I'm talking about things like Love has to be a verb. It has to be acted out with words. If you keep it to yourself, then it's no good. So, brothers, when you think about it, how many times has your woman said to you, I appreciate you. I value you. Baby, I see what you're doing. I support you. How can I help you? This is the kind of stuff you want to hear. You don't want to hear things like, yo, you ain't shit. I don't know why you couldn't do this. You should have been there. You want positive energy put into you. And for the women out there that are saying they're looking for a good man, I'm telling you, affirmation is just important to men as it is to women. Maybe even more so. Because at the end of the day, the average man is out here getting negativity from other men, from his co-workers, from his boss. And he does not need to go back to his woman who is supposed to be his peace, his peace of mind, and hear the same, if not worse. So I tell you, first thing is affirmation. Extremely important for a man. What are you putting in? You know, we all talk about what we want, but at the end of the day, the question is, what are you willing to sacrifice for the kind of person you want in your life? And that's extremely important. Another thing that's extremely important to men in relationships is a listening ear. You know, there's no greater sign of respect than a person giving you their undivided attention. Not just waiting for their chance to speak, looking to interrupt, uh, just kind of glossing over what you're saying in their phone, doing something else. When you give a man undivided attention and you're listening to him, that matters. That makes the man more into you because he feels like he has a woman that is truly invested in the process of his progress and well-being. I can't stress how important that is. A listening ear is what men are looking for. Now, we naturally are going to be a listening ear for our woman, but are the women we dealing with being a sounding board for us? We have stress. We have uh, issues with the world. We have things on our mind. And do we have a safe space at all to talk to our woman? Or do we just got to go to our friends all the time? Third thing that men desire, and I can't stress this enough either, is physical upkeep. Now, I understand everybody is not built like a supermodel. Some of us are going to be bigger. Some of us are going to be smaller. But being the best you that you can be physically, mentally, and emotionally is going to reflect on not only you, but that man as well. You don't want to get with a man and you weigh 160 and next thing you know, you 225, 250. That's not how it's supposed to work. You should value the person that you're with and you should look for someone that values themselves enough to go to the gym, to walk, to run, to eat salad, eat right foods and take care of themselves. OK, this sloppy new era where everybody is twice the size they was 30, 40 years ago is unacceptable, totally unacceptable. And yes, there are people that are into the fetish, but for the most part, men want a woman that is physically fit and appealing to the eye. Fourth area, sexual integrity matters, okay? Now, don't get me wrong. To a man, you can't never have uh, two little partners. To him, in his mind, it's like one is too many. But when you're a woman, you are the receiver, okay? So when you're walking around and you think you can move like a man, you cannot. You are getting all these different energies in your body. That's why it is very difficult for women who have been promiscuous and have had a lot of sexual partners to pair bond with a man. It's because they've had too many different energies inside them. And now it is harder for them to link and have a true connection with one man. So I would tell women out there that are young enough, value your body enough that you're not just out here sleeping with every man in town. No man wants a woman like that. That is an area where your value is truly placed in the uh, how you take care of yourself and not having a bunch of sexual partners. Last area, which is probably just as important as the other four, is space. 
Now, don't get me wrong. I love a woman that loves to love her man, to be on you. But there becomes a point where a man, it becomes tedious. It becomes overwhelming. A man needs space to, to get his mind together, to work through problems, to come up with new ideas and solutions, to build his mind, to build his body. You cannot be up under this man all day. It's not going to work. And you're not going to bring out the best in him. A woman should know that when I give a man space to work on himself, he's number one, he's going to miss you. You got to give a man time to miss you. And number two, it gives him the opportunity to refresh himself and get his thoughts, his mind and his body together. If you want a man to be at his best, you have to give him space to do other things as well. Space. So with that being said, y'all, I hope y'all took these five pointers I gave. This is a quick video dealing with things that men value and need from a woman. Affirmation, physical upkeep, space, sexual integrity, and last but not least, a listening ear. Okay, so if you're doing those five things, you are a great woman. And if you are getting those five things as a man, you have a great woman. But brothers, we need to be more selective. We need to look for these kind of things because a person that cares about you is going to pour into you, not just drain you mentally, physically, emotionally and spiritually. They are going to be a, a starter for you. So keep that in mind. And brothers, continue to watch, continue to subscribe, like and remember most of all that the black man can. And if you ain't know, you better ask somebody. Peace.